good morning one and all in the class albert einstein at school part 2 okay let's start i hope you might have revised if not you can revise uh, just in these few minutes what we did yesterday let me admit the students those who are in the waiting room just a minute okay yes yes so we have started how he felt at school when he was a bit uh, uh, suppressed he found himself little suppressed what he wanted to do according to the interest was not being done in the school so albert einstein found himself that he is in the confines he wanted to do research or something like that related to his interest of geology and he used to read books which were not the part of his syllabus right so let me share the lesson okay we were on page number yes i don't think here we left that i never passed the exams for the school diploma and the conversation between elsa and albert revealed that they were talking of they couldn't you know come on a uh, solution that how will he work and it was here that he need to get right away from it right he supposed the situation that suppose if i get if i had a nervous breakdown when he was talking to yuri and suppose a doctor would say it is bad for me to go to school and i need to get rid get rid right away from it so he wished to get rid away from this type of school where his interest did not find a place right so keep yourself audios off dear students and uh, videos on right wonderful kids keep your uh, audios off videos on gorav pratishtha kevin archal and others also okay i can't manage a doctor very good kevin i can't manage uh, i can't manage uh, and he says i can't imagine a doctor saying that said yuri i must try said albert to find out a doctor who specializes in nerves there are plenty of them yuri told him yuri told him that there are plenty of doctor friends he has hesitated for a moment and then added rather reluctantly what do you mean by reluctant when you don't want to do that but the friend is saying so you have to do i'll ask some of the students if they know one if you like so he will search a doctor who will give him what he who will give him a certificate bearing that he cannot continue with the school and you know so many other things like that okay so this way the story of albert story of albert actually the experience of albert at school now will you oh thank you yuri albert's eyes were shining now albert was very happy what wait a moment i haven't found one yet right oh but you will i know you'll find a doctor for me who'll do all these things for me and if i do i don't know if he will be willing to help you even if i found a doctor whether he'll be willing to help you or not that is not sure he will he will declared very hopefully said albert that he will help me out i'm going to have a real nervous breakdown to make it easier for him and he laughed merrily that i'm not going to trouble the doctor i'm going to have the real problem so this way the pleasantries were shared and then the uh, actual topic that please find a doctor for me yuri and they departed like maybe i have never seen you looking less nervous remarked yuri a day or two at school will soon put that right albert assured him certainly he had lost certainly he had lost his high spirits when yuri saw him next now when they departed and met again a short departure you can say going on your own ways and meeting after a while or after a couple of days he found that he is very depressed 
right suddenly he had lost his high spirits when yuri saw him next i can't stand it any longer he said i really shall have a nervous breakdown he he will that will satisfy any doctor so he he was not finding himself comfortable now in school his father was thinking that he is studying but he was not able to put his mind into it keep it up then said yuri i have found a doctor for you you have albert's face lit up oh good when i can see him so when i can see this doctor he was so excited so desperate to meet that doctor and run away from school i have an appointment for you for tomorrow evening yuri said here is the address he handed albert a piece of paper docs uh, please open your books on your tables you can uh, see the screen also concentrate on the screen if you can concentrate on the hard copy that paper wala book you can please open your books on bill snapshots keep it on your tables because when we are reading the lessons it is quite helpful to understand the lessons when the lines are before us to make it convenient i have shared the screen right and uh, i wish to um, you know instruct and you can take it as a request instruction whatever you feel like please be on time right when you join the classes it's an early morning class so be on time now because i keep on admitting the students i have an appointment for you for tomorrow evening you reset and here is the address and he felt so special and dr ernest well is he a specialist in nervous troubles asked albert not exactly yuri admitted as a matter of fact he only qualified as a doctor last week so a beginner doctor a doctor who has just started his career i'll write a word for you you can make out that he was an amateur right a person who has started his career or you know just a week back he has started you knew him as a student then i have known ernest for years he is my friend yuri hesitated for a few moments he is not a fool he warned albert what do you mean don't try to pull the wool over his eyes that's all be frank with him be honest with this doctor friend of mine but don't pretend you have got what you haven't not that you you would deceive anyone like you had deceived anyone or you will you you will deceive him or anyone else so no plans for deceiving and all you cannot deceive him yuri added you are the world's worst you know liar albert spent the next day wondering what to tell the doctor he is so excited enthusiastic that he'll meet the doctor he'll say the doctor this thing and finally his problems will come to an end albert spent the next day wondering and wondering when the time arrived for his appointment he had worried over it so much that he really was quite nervous i don't really know how to describe my trouble doctor well he began don't try now this conversation part is very very interesting said the young doctor with a friendly smile yuri has already given me a history of this case oh what did he say only that you want me to think that you have had a nervous breakdown and say that you must not go back to that school oh dear albert's face fell he shouldn't have told you that why not isn't it true then isn't it true then yes that's the trouble now you'll say that there is nothing wrong with me and you'll tell me to go back to school don't be too sure of that said the doctor as a matter of fact i'm pretty sure you are in a nervous state about that school so a bit friendly bit understanding and he says that he assures him in a different way that don't tell me that you'll go back to school you might be having some real problem with that so because you wouldn't have come to otherwise you wouldn't have come to see me about this if you hadn't been pretty close to a nervous breakdown that's why now said the doctor briskly if i certify that you have had a nervous breakdown and must stay away from school for a while what will you do now being a doctor he said what will you do dear students keep your videos on beta all of you yes what will you do after this i'll go to italy said I, said albert to milan where my parents are and what will you do what will you do there i'll try to get into an italian college or institute how can you without a diploma without the nominal degrees and all how will you go right so he says that i will get 
particular certificate from my maths teacher. I'll ask my mathematics teacher to give me something about my work and perhaps that will be enough for me to get admission in Italy. I have learned all that maths they teach at school and a bit more he added when Dr. Well looked doubtful. Well, it is up to you, he said. I doubt if it will come off. But I can see you are not doing yourself or anyone else much good by good by staying here. So doctor also realized, dear students, that the, the friendly doctor, the friend of Yuri, realized now Albert's friend also, the way he is talking. So he has realized that it, staying of this boy here in the school will do nothing. No growth, no development, no learning because he is not interested at all. So, well, it is up to you. How long would you like me to say you should stay away from school? Would six months be all right? Shall I mention in the certificate that six months this boy must stay away? This is very kind of you. Now, Albert is very happy and he says this is very kind of you. Uh, it's nothing. I have just uh, stopped being a student myself, so I know how you feel. I had been a student, so I know how students feel. Here you are. Dr. Well handed him the certificate and the best of luck. This much is clear, dear students. This much lesson is clear. Yes, ma'am. Very good. Nothing. If you have anything to spare, invite Yuri to a meal. Now, what can I do? How much? How much shall I pay? He said, please invite my friend Yuri for a meal. So, you know, understanding human behavior, understanding human wants, understanding human needs. You all know we cannot live alone in this world. You all need friends. I need friends. I need companions. We live in a family, which is a small society. We live in classrooms. We, we carry all the norms and rules of the society. What is this? Kindly keep your audios off. Okay. Yes. Now, anyone who has any query related to Albert's experience can raise. Okay. Shall I move further? Shall I move? Yes. So, if you can do something, kindly call Yuri for a meal. Right? So, you know, a friendly gesture he expected from this boy. Yuri is his friend also. So, isn't it wonderful? He said after showing Yuri the certificate and he invited Yuri for the supper. And when he invited him, you can see, but he pretended he had and took Yuri out to supper. Albert had no money to spare, but still he had to keep the promise that he had made to the doctor. And doctor has sorted out his problem. So isn't it wonderful, Yuri? And he showed Yuri the certificate, which his doctor friend had given. Six months is a good period. And this way you won't actually be leaving the school. And if you are not able to settle in Italy, you will come back to school and continue with your diploma. So if the worst comes to the worst, you'll be able to come back and carry on for your diploma. I'll never go back to that place, Albert assured him. I'm going to take this certificate to the head teacher tomorrow and that will be the end of it. Don't forget to get a reference in writing from your mathematics teacher first. Yuri reminded him. Now you'll be very uh, interested children in knowing what Albert's mathematics teacher wrote on his certificate. You'll feel proud of this man, right? If uh, my teacher or your teacher does this, you'll be on the ninth cloud. You'll be uh, flying high like any ordinary person. So Mr. Cock willingly gave Albert the reference he wanted. If I say I can't teach you anymore and probably you'll soon be able to teach me, will that be all right? He asked. That's, that's saying too much, sir said Albert, sir, this is too much. Now Albert, Albert's mathematics teacher said, shall I write this that you, uh, I cannot teach you and but you can teach me now. You are this much capable that you can teach your teacher, me. So Albert was ready immediately to enter a college or institute for the study of higher mathematics. And this was too much. I'm sorry you are leaving us, although you are wasting your time in my class, he said. 
you're a wonderful student and you have learned what all i'm going to teach you so uh, my wishes blessings to for you so the, the the a small caterpillar now is a butterfly to fly right he has got the wings he has developed those wings to fly with the help of the maths teacher the doctor right yuri yes so you wouldn't have asked me for this reference otherwise i i thought you would wonder and this way now what happened when he went to the principal of the school what did he write let's see albert was puzzled now i knew you were going to leave before you knew yourself now maths teacher said i knew you will leave the school that's so majestic now albert was confused that my teacher knew my maths teacher knew more than me what i knew about myself what did the teacher mean he soon found out before he had a chance to ask for an interview with the head teacher he was summoned to the head's room so head teacher called him in his room well it saves me the trouble of having to wait an hour or two outside he thought he hardly bothered to wonder why he had been sent for now he was not worried when he was called but vaguely supposed he was to be punished again for bad work and laziness he knew that he would be punished well he said he had finished with punishments i am not going to punish you the head teacher said to albert surprise your work is terrible and i am not prepared to have you here any longer einstein i want you to leave the school now leave the school now repeated albert dazed that is what i said you mean said albert that i am to be expelled i have to leave the school so albert's work is done goodbye he wanted to leave the school the principal the headmaster is allowing him and uh, throwing him out of the school you can take it that way if you wish einstein the head teacher was not mincing words the simplest thing will be for you to go of your own go on your own accord go of your own accord that you are leaving the school on your own and then the question won't arise that i have expelled i have forced you to leave the school but said albert what crime have i committed your presence in the classroom makes it impossible for the teacher to teach and for the other pupils to learn you refuse to learn you are a constant rebel rebellion and so and uh, not at all serious no serious work can be done while you are there in your presence so you are such a nuisance albert felt the medical certificate almost burning a hole in his pocket he would have thrown the medical certificate i'm already going but he kept quiet right so it was like burning in his pocket i was going to leave anyway he said and then we are in agreement at least einstein the head said for a moment albert was tempted to tell the man what he thought of him and his school then he stopped himself keeping the mannerisms in concern without another word holding his head high he he stalked out he walked out like a proud in a proud manner shut the door after you shouted the head albert ignored him did not shut the door because he was very angry teenager at that time so when the headmaster told him to shut the door he did not shut he walked straight on out of the school where he had spent five miserable years without turning his head to give it a last look he could not think of anyone he wanted to say goodbye to indeed yuri was the only almost only person whom he wanted to thank whom he wanted to love whom he wanted to remember throughout his life only person in munich he felt like seeing before he left the town he had come to hate almost as much as the school elsa was back in berlin and he had no other real friends goodbye and good luck said yuri when he left you are going to a wonderful country i think i hope you will be happier there and the friend bid him adieu and sent him to fly high and the butterfly whose school journey we have read we know that butterfly how he flew and still his learnings are there in our are attached with our learnings we cannot move further without learning those theories and particularly the theory of relativity which he gave to the world right so dear students this is albert einstein at school what do you understand of einstein's nature from his conversation with his history teacher and his mathematics teacher and the head teacher three teachers have been discussed 
who is the first teacher the history teacher who forced him to learn dates which he did not find right which he did not find uh, logical practical to learn any time we can see the dates from the book what is the use of learning those dates then his mathematics teacher who was so fond of his particular student whom he thought that this particular student of mine can teach him teach me he is wasting his time in my classroom so very high uh, regard for the student as you respect your teachers your teachers also respect you but for your learnings but for your hard work but for your uh, you know efforts the efforts that you put in the obedience that you show rest all happens automatically your interest in that particular subject is there rest all will follow automatically yes and his head teacher who hated him and considered him as a terrible student so we can make out that how he was at school he was not terrible he was not pathetic at studies the only thing was the system he did not find compatible with his own interest and the force that was being put on during those times in our education system right the school system often curbs individual talents discuss this is i leave it to you as a personal um, pondering first and then coming up to the answer that school system often curbs individual talents discuss how do you distinguish between information gathering and insight formation learning from within learning from within let me tell you the difference between within and outside say for two words pleasure and happiness pleasure you can have for a short moment and for a longer period also but with outside assets and outside accessories and all but happiness even if you have assets and accessories and so many things and riches and all and so many uh, luxuries and you are full with all your material pursuits material things but still you may not be happy so that happiness is from within and similarly the learning that takes place from within right that comes up as a as a flow of knowledge and you do and you you create more and more with that knowledge that is insight learning and gathering information today we are bombarded with information lot of information comes to us how much we churn how much it is how many uh, things are useful how how much of it is useless so if you keep it as accountable you will have n number of information pieces right and if you'll count as uncountable then how much percentage you keep it as for your use and how much is useless so insight learning and surface information gathering of facts and um, uh, other things so there is a bit not bit but a great difference tremendous difference between this and learning must take place from within okay so this way we have read the lesson these questions we will be doing tomorrow i'll be sharing the question answers uh, along with the other questions of this lesson on monday and the next topic would be speech writing i'll cover a writing section topic or maybe a um, letter writing topic so writing section would be covered in the next week right dear students now i hope you have understood the lesson okay